So, Joel, what do we need? Well, Abby, we're going to need a collection of Doctor Who makes. Maybe a Dalek cake, some TARDIS fun. Maybe another Dalek cake. Oh, and another Dalek cake. Yeah, why not? And a collection of doctors helping out as well. And another Dalek cake. Daleks must be just about the most popular television stars of all. You've probably got a Dalek model at home, or maybe you've even had a go at making the Blue Peter do-it-yourself Dalek. Put it like that, you've got the front. And in fact, you can use a bit of the chocolate icing just in there, which will help to stick it together. Icing doesn't stick too much. And you smooth it all over, right the way around, and sort of make the shape of the Dalek as you're doing it. There it is, the arms and the ammunition and the guns here and the eye at the top are all made out of cocktail sticks covered with silver paper, a glassy cherry and some licorice on there. And our Daleks, I bet you'll never guess what we started off making those out of, one of those, the top off um, a plastic bottle, this is one that had fabric conditioner in, any bottle which has got a fairly large stopper will do absolutely fine. What you want to do with it is make two holes in it and take a little nick out of the bottom, that's so that when you put the wire in that works it, it'll stand up nice and straight. Then you want a blob of plasticine, like that, which sticks on all by itself. And a large button does wonders. And then, if you have a look back at the finished Dalek again, I'll tell you what else I did. Those holes that I made, can you see the bits sticking out, all his antennae, exterminators, etc.? Well, those are just um, various different sizes of screws and nails, a bit of garden wire. He's got a couple of beads on his head for the light and a nasty yellow bead in the middle of his antennae, all ready to give you a very nasty yellow stare. And to finish him off, I painted him grey and I've given him lots of black spots. And that wire um, underneath, just to show you how it's fixed on, you see? Filled up the Dalek with newspaper, put a circle of cardboard underneath and glued the wire in a circle underneath and that makes him really firm. And then you can move him about and terrorise everybody, John. Mm, terrorises me. It's a bit, it's, it's dead easy because you've got a Dalek for reference here in the studio. This is the head part, the bit that spins round and you need to make it in layers like this. If you don't have your own Dalek at home, then just, you can watch the show and we'll show you how to do it. Okay, stick your button on top of that. You're being very delicate, Jack, you really are. You can make the buttercream from scratch if you want to, but we're cheating because it's quicker. Because it's TV, lovies. Uh, you can also make your own cakes as well, but we've cheated there as well because you can get different flavours of cakes, but you can do whatever you want. You know how creative you are. We're then going to look at the Daleks' most feared weapon is plungers. William's ready with the plunger materials over here. Some tin foil, some cocktail sticks, because those are going to make the plungers, and you're going to wrap those in tin foil. Off you go, Will, thank you very much. And then what you can do to make the ends, those are what you can see there. You've got little marshmallows that you get on top of coffee sometimes, chocolate chips, and we've got these jelly sweets as well. If you do make one of these, by the way, you can send us a picture, that'd be lovely. Or even better, send us the cake. Can we get them to send us cakes? <laughs> are, are we not allowed to do that? Please send me cake. I want cake. If you want to make one of these, then all you have to do is come up with these ingredients. Can I call them ingredients? You need two yoghurt pots. These are the big ones. I've got Greek yoghurt in there. And then this is one of those tubs that comes with stacking crisps. And I've cut it down to 15 centimetres in height. Now, you'll need to keep the lid of one of the yoghurt pots as well. And first, what you need to do is get your scissors out and then cut the top or the bottom, rather, of the pot, uh, two centimetres, that is roughly, and then we end up with a sort of tube like that. Now, next, we're going to get our stacking crisp pot and then pop that over the top of it. And uh, we need to make this black pot that's at the bottom. Can you see that? And what you do for that is you need to get some corrugated cardboard. So uh, I've chopped a bit, lopped off the side of a box and then cut a strip, which needs to be such that when you bend it around, it fits around the base of your yoghurt pot and uh, fold it in half and pop double-sided sticky or glue on one half. And on the other half, you need to cut little slits. So it's like a sort of fringe and you'll see why when I cunningly stick it around the base, get some more, I've got lots of bits of sticky tape ready for all my sticking. And then these bits fold over. This is an egg box and I've cut off the tops of the egg box to get that funny effect there. And then I've threaded that onto a bit of cocktail stick and that's got two beads on, although you could make a bit with modeling clay. And then you pierce it through where you want your eye to go. So there we are. 
and that's the eye. Then you need the plunger and the gun. I've done a similar thing with two bits of egg box and just get painting the whole lot. Now I can't paint it all, obviously, and you'll need to wait for the weapons and stuff to dry. But yeah, it will need a good old mix around this enamel paint. And you might need a few coats and you just go over the whole thing. So you've got a lovely golden darling. Obviously, once again, I don't have time, but this <laughs> is what the completed thing will look like. So here we are in the garden, not only with the TARDIS, but the doctor himself is here. It's Matt Smith. We're going to make one of these. Right. In the greenhouse. Come on, Matt. Sure. First things first, get your big orange juice carton. Yeah, totally yes. open. There we are. Like that. Oh, right. There's still some orange juice left in it. So. Well, help yourself. Yeah. Cut down the ends so that you can fold all these bits in on themselves. If points are to be scored, I have finished. Oh. Like that, is it? Yeah, yeah. The next stage is four little flaps. Bend like that. Go back to your sticky tape and secure each flap down. It doesn't matter that it's not that neat because we're going to paint it. So there it is. That's what we're going to make. And it starts off its life uh, with two Swiss rolls. We need to make sure this all glues together and sticks so it doesn't fall apart. So put a bit of the icing down there and then hopefully this will stick together. You will finally end up with a Dalek that looks like this. Yeah, you see, it's all coming together. Now, as you can see around the back, I have started to decorate it, which is really good fun. I've used some of my favourite sweets, which is great. And then you get to add the eye and the antennae. So I've got these little bits of licorice and add them on as the antennae. And then I quite like this one because it looks like an eye. So we can put that on as the eye. And, then, and also, if you fancy making some mini ones to uh, take to school, uh, you can use mini Swiss rolls and make these tiny ones. But personally, I prefer the big one because you can mm. eat more. I can't get over how cool that was. If you liked that, then head to BBC iPlayer where we have loads of episodes of Blue Peter with new ones coming out every single Friday. And don't forget to hit subscribe to our amazing Blue Peter YouTube channel.